Hey guys, Josh here, and today we're going to take a look at TFC Toys Uranus at Blackbird and Stingray. Uh, first off, the things that he comes with, comes with a little collector's card here, back, the little tech specs there if you can read them. Uh, some nice instructions, I mean they're in black and white, but it shows in red, and or highlighted in red, the things that you're actually moving at the time, so they're quite easy to follow. Uh, then it comes with a nice little poster that all the rest of these guys are coming with, and you know, there's Stingray there on the side as well. Now, taking a look at this guy, we'll kind of just start off with a little 360, so you can see him from every angle. I've got, you know, uh, Stingray attached here at the top, like he's, um, I forget, what was that, uh, G.I. Joe, Night Raven, or something like that, Jet. I, it's kind of making a little noise, because um, I don't have his wheels out. Now, uh, if you do extend his landing gear to where all the wheels are down, uh, you can kind of see these a little bit back heavy, or a lot of back heavy. Uh, even if you kind of move this front wheel forward, still too much, you know, weight there in the back, so... Uh, what I kind of do is put these back just like so, and that way he can sit there. That way for you guys that like to keep all your things in jet mode, uh, now you can do it without him just, you know, constantly just leaning backwards. Now let's take off Stingray, and we'll come back to him here in a second. And we'll bring in G1 Silver Bolt, which is a 1985 Condor. Now when I originally, um, you know, pre-ordered the first two, or whenever they went up, we had no idea that this was going to be a Blackbird, or at least I didn't. And I really thought they were going to go with the Condor, but they decided to go with a little bit more updated version of a plane, or, or a jet, uh, in the SR-71, or the Blackbird. And I was a little disappointed, but it wasn't that big of a deal. Uh, you know, Now, this guy does have quite a bit of kibble here at the bottom. He's not very clean, for one. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to show him to you, so you can kind of get an idea of what the original looked like. This guy does have all that kibble here at the back but again this isn't made in 1985 this is something that's made in you know either 2012 2013 whenever they decide that you know this went through prototype stage and they were going to make it so i expect more so for you to give me pretty much the same almost design as the 1985 g1 version uh, i'm a little bit displeased now as you can see this really looks like uh it looks like a mistransformed transformer just stuck to the back of an SR-71. Now, I, I know I'm probably not the first person to say that, but uh, that's really essentially what it is. Uh, it looks like he's just kind of hiding there as it flies through. Uh, but from the aerial view, it doesn't look too bad, but you know, from the side and bottom, it just really looks atrocious. Uh, this is not something that I would really recommend uh, as an individual transformer to purchase, you know, unless you're trying to, you know, build Uranus or Superion. But let's go ahead and do one more comparison and then we'll get this guy transformed. Uh, here we have uh, Eagle, if I can get him to stay together there. So you can kind of get an idea of you know, the size difference there. So quite a bit. Now most of it, or a lot of it here, is uh, just this um, you know, cockpit right here. So let me go ahead and pull this off so you can kind of see. This is essentially the robot, so you're really not getting that much more of a figure uh, because that other part just you know detaches and becomes its gun. So we'll go ahead and put him to the side. And to transform these guys, the first thing we're going to do is work on this gun here. Uh, you can just put that landing gear up and come out with these, rotate, and rotate as well. Pull these sections up just like so, and move these little Gatlin guns up here. Uh, I'm going to push this in just for whenever he's in his silver bolt mode and whenever he turns into Superion or Uranus, you can extend it, make it a little bit longer. Uh, then you're going to come down with this section here, and then now he's got a little gun that he can hang on to. And we'll set him to the side and we'll get into Stingray here. So I just want to make sure that was focused in. First thing that we're going to do is kind of pop these little sections out of the side here. Uh, go ahead and come down with this little chest area, rotate his head, and then these arms or legs, you're going to separate here and here, come down, and you got a little ball joint here and a ball joint here at the knee. Rotate that, that, and fold these in. The same with this section here. There we go. And with the, the arms, you can kind of bend right there. This will come back, and that'll come back as well. Do the same with this one. 
and there you have a little stingray. His hands are actually kind of painted on the inside or molded inside, so uh, it's not that great, but you know it is what it is. It's, it's going to be his chest piece as well. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that that was so far away, but or there's a back section of him, and I did give him a little Autobot symbol as well for whenever he becomes a shield, uh, it'll actually look right, so that's why I did that. Uh, as far as articulation with this guy, he can rotate his head, uh, can you know rotate here at the shoulder, bend in and out, bend at the elbow as well. Uh, it does have ab crunch here. Uh, his thigh is on a ball joint, moves around, his knees on a ball joint as well, and his foot can go back and forth. So there he is. All right, so now getting into this guy right here. Uh, one of the things that I do, you don't have to, but I detach these sides just because, you know, they kind of get in the way. Uh, but what you're going to do is first pop that up right there because this hole is pe pegged into uh, that little peg right there. Uh, do the same with this one here. And then you can start detaching because it's pegged in here and here. Same on this end. There we go. And just kind of loosen that up. Do the same with this side. And just kind of loosen that up as well. And like I said, you can just you know take these out, which I will do so they're not in the way so you can see a little bit better. But with this section here, you're going to pop that up, fold these in, and angle that in just like so. Angle this in, and those will kind of pop together as well. Bring it this way. You can pull these legs and extend those. Bring those down. Do the same with this one. And then we're going to rotate at the waist. And then rotate here at the thigh to where this little joint section is back here. It services, you know, the back end of the knee here. And then rotate to where this black portion is in the front. Do the same with uh, this one as well. Come up with these red sections. There we go. And then you can come down with these feet. There he, his leg sections are. And then you, with the arms, you just split apart right there. Come down with these. Rotate here at the shoulder. And then you have the arm sections. You've got the hands in here. And then you come up with this check, chest section here. And then you have these two little vents right here, or I'm going to call them vents, but they're little pieces of plastic that you just kind of move in to complete his shoulder section there. All right, so there is Blackburn. Uh, give you guys a little 360 of him. So this way he doesn't look too kibbly. So it doesn't actually look that bad. But then whenever you uh, plug these on here, Makes him a little bit more bulky. Now I do think his Blackbird mode is actually his worst one, but um, you know, this one's not too great as well. So there's a little look at him. Uh, as far as articulation goes, he can move his head 360, can go up and down as well. Uh, shoulders can go up and down right here at this joint. Uh, they can, if you move this, you can see that you can rotate here at the shoulder. This part goes in and out. Also rotate at the bicep, bend 90 degrees here at the elbow, and you can also rotate here at the wrist. As far as waist, he can rotate here at the waist. Uh, these little heel, or not heel, but uh, little skirts uh, for his uh, waist section, they do go up and down, so they kind of move with him. Uh, leg can go, or thigh go 90 degrees forward, 90 degrees back, 90 degrees out, or maybe even a little bit more there can rotate here at the thigh, bend at this joint in the knee, and then he also has 
this joint back here that you can bend out as well. Uh, also rotate here at the knee and then he's got a little bit of foot posability as well. So let me see if I can kind of put him in a pose real quick and we'll do some size comparisons and I'll transform them back for you guys. Uh, so for you guys that uh, might need a little bit of help and there he is with his gun. Is she getting them balanced there? All right, so there he is. Wanted to bring in masterpiece side swipe, so you can kind of see head to head how how tall this guy actually is. Um, let me move the camera in there. Uh, then we have G1 Galvatron. So as you can see, he's just a little bit shorter than him. Galvatron is a really tall transformer. Uh, also wanted to bring in uh, you know, Fall Cybertron Optimus Prime. And here's what it'll look like you know, with one of his teammates here. Here is Phantom. So he's obviously the leader. Uh, he's a lot taller than you know, pretty much everyone else. Move these guys out of the way. And we'll just, what the heck, we'll go ahead and get a, a silver bolt done here. Alright, and so that's what he looks like, you know, compared to, or this is what they're basically basing this guy off of, uh, Silverbolt, so. Not bad, I mean, they got a lot of the colors right, uh, you know, he's missing black up here, but with the red chest and, uh, you know, it's yellow instead of gold here, yellow instead of the gold there, so, uh, it's not bad. The face is actually kind of spot on, um, especially, even with the cartoon, it, the face looks really good. It's just... You know, it's Blackbird mode. It, it's very poorly designed. I wish they would have had, you know, where the arms kind of came out here at the side sections or something like that. Uh, you know, that's just my opinion. But let's go ahead and get this guy transformed. First thing we're going to do is with his gun. Uh, we'll kind of move him to the side so the camera will stay focused. Uh, we'll just move those out. Rotate that section there. Bring these around. And there's these little holes there. And we'll peg there. And bring that in just like so. And there's the front part. Then with this section here, first thing I'm going to do is move the toes up. Bring this section down all the way. The same with this one as well. Rotate these black sections down. There we go. And what you want to do with this part, uh, first rotate here at the waist. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and take these off to make it a little bit easier. What you're going to do with this section is rotate to where this outer section of the knee is facing out on both of these. And then rotate down at this section to where this red and black part are facing out as well. Then with this head, I'm going to get this little pin here just because uh, I can't really get it. my fingernails in there. Come up with that. You can do the same on this one as well. And they're just going to fit to the side there. Go ahead and come forward with the chest. Flip these little sections open here for the hands. And go ahead and put those in. And then with the shoulders, you're going to rotate this upside down just like so. And then have the red part facing up. So the arm will look just like so. Do the same with this one as well. Rotate that. And that and these will come together and these arms will peg together there 
Then with the legs, you're going to come up just like so, and it should fold in just like that. And there's that section. So you're going to come around here, just kind of move this out of the way, flip these out, and they're going to peg in just like so. And whenever you connect this into this hole, don't forget you have that peg there, peg there, they're going to go in there. And then this peg is going to go in this back hole here. So you just want to kind of guide it in there and then start pegging everything together. And then we'll get that one down there. Do the wing. Do this one as well. And just make sure that's pegged in. There we go. Come back with that section. And then we can pull this up, plug this in, and then these two little sections right here will just plug into these two little holes right here on top of the arms. So you can get them in there. There you go. And your landing gear. So there is, you know, Blackbird transformed back. Uh, same thing with, you know, this little guy. I'll kind of move him out of the way. Uh, first thing we're going to do is come down with the feet. You're going to make sure that the the waist section of the ball joint is facing up to where the leg, you know, would come up like so. Then you're going to angle this down. Do the same as uh, for this one over here. And make sure this little tab is out so you can push these together and connect those in. Rotate the head and go ahead and come up with that section there. Start putting the arms back together. Do the same as for this one. And there's these little pegs here and holes there. You'll just put those in there as well. There we go and if you wanted to put him on here just flip this section back and there's this little middle hole here I, I can't even find it can't see right now oh well but yeah he can go on the back back here again so you guys already saw that, but thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully this was able to help you guys out if you were you know, determining on whether you wanted to buy this figure or not uh, or even how to transform it back and forth. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you later.